you're watching this video, I assume you're familiar with Majora's Mask and how you can change into characters other than Link. Well, there's a set of sound effects per character and only five sound banks are assigned to these characters. And these sound banks don't just dictate the sounds that are made when the character interacts with something, but also changes how the character functions. Real fast, before we start this video, I want to remind all of you that I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. That is my goal, and if I can reach 100 subscribers, then I will do a video on Resident Evil 4 about secrets that you probably don't know yet, plus a face reveal. So, if you want, go ahead and join my journey to 100 subscribers. Now. The first one I'm going to showcase is this one that makes you really tall. So tall that in fact most enemies can't reach your hitbox and this makes it really easy to just walk right over the enemies and take a ride on Epona. This next bank makes it to where you're always underwater no matter where you are. Funny enough, if we dive underwater and come back up, Link continues swimming upwards into the sky until eventually the game reaches a limit and respawns. Also a timer begins counting down your oxygen just like an Ocarina of Time. Since the water audio filter is gone when we drown, we can get a better sound of Link's drowning effect. Wow, that sounds grim. So let's take this experiment to another level. I hopped on Epona and activated this same bank then waited for the timer to run out. Now what I was hoping to happen was Link would drown while on top of Epona and maybe, maybe glitch the game out because I've never seen Link drown while being mounted on any object, but sadly I was disappointed when the timer just resets back to its original time. Uh, something else that I found out was when Link's health is full, the game gives him about two and a half minutes to get back to the surface. However, when Link's health is three hearts, the game will only give him roughly 20 seconds to get oxygen. Lastly, I never knew that these spikes could actually harm Link if he touches them. This sound bank consists of almost all ocean noises. When playing as Link in this sound bank, he loses every bit of buoyancy and collision detection. As you can see, he just starts cycling through animations whenever he touches something. Back to the buoyancy, Link just sinks straight down to the bottom, almost like having the iron boots from Ocarina of Time. The Deku Kid mask has the complete opposite reaction. Here, Deku Link continues to skip forever across water, and the crazy part is that you can't go past this point because the fog will cover the screen and respawn you back to the shore, but with Deku Link skipping across the water infinitely, we can actually bypass this barrier and get closer to this structure out here and actually see it up close for the first time. And there's not much interesting things to really look at, except the crescent moon insignia that you can see on the head of the structure. This wraps up today's video for Majora's Mask. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. We've got more Zelda videos coming up, and pretty soon I'm going to do an off-camera secrets video for Time Splitters 2. Lastly, don't forget I really need your help to get to 100 subscribers so I can do a video on Resident Evil 4 secrets you might not know and a face reveal. All in all, stay safe and take it easy.